What's up guys, Pie Guy Coding, where I teach you guys everything Python. And today we are going to be going over the century from year function on codefights.com. And let's just get right into it. So, it says, given a year, return the century it is in. The first century spans from the year 1 up to and including the year 100. The second from the year 101 up to and including the year 200. So it gives you some examples, which is nice. So we have for year equals 1905. The output should be century from year, the year equals 20. And they give you another one for year equals 1700. The output should be 17. So essentially you're getting um, the, the century that it's in. And this one's pretty, pretty easy. Um, it, although it can be like kind of confu confusing at first. So what we want to do is, and we're we're we have a um, a argument here, which oh no sorry not an argument a parameter, we have a parameter here, and um, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make a variable that stores our um, new value for what we want to return, which is the century. So let's we can name it century if we want. Now, we would want to do century equals, um, let's say we try the year over 100, right? That seems like it would work. And then we just return century. And if we run the tests, we get some that are correct and some that aren't. And you'll see over here, it'll it'll do output is 19.05, and the expected output was 20. So, basically, if it's if if it was nine if this was 19 and it didn't have that the 0 0.05, then we would have it as the 19th century. But since it has that 0 0.05, it would it's considered the 20th century. So, in this case, in this case, it was 17. So the expected output was 17. And that's fine, but that just happened to work out. So, what I pulled up over here is actually something called the math dot ceiling um, function, and this will come in really good handy for this function. So, essentially, what the ceiling function does is you put in some sort of x or some value, um, probably a number, and you return the ceiling of x as a float. And what this does is it returns the smallest integer value greater than or equal to x. So basically, if it's 0 0.01, if it's anything over that whole number, then it's going to give the the next, round it up, basically. So if it was 19.01, then it would be rounded up to 20. And this is exactly what we want for our function. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do... Um, I'm not sure if you have to do import math here, but we can we can try this and see if this works. I think this just works here. Let me see. Okay, so it doesn't work. So what we have to do is not this. Let's try import math. And then we do math dot ceiling of this and it works perfect so you we have the year 1905 the output that we get is 20 the expected output is 20 of course it works for all of them so um, anyway guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you um enjoyed it then please leave a comment down below and if you have any questions please leave a comment down below so thank you guys so much and i will be back with another video soon see ya